Hello, and welcome back to the After Bedtime Podcast. I am your host, H.P. Burrito. I, I remember this poem, um, and it got me thinking of the current state of world affairs. I uh, took a moment and thought of our planet's history, especially for the last 40 to 50 years, going back to before I was even born. I realized that humanity has always been in a state of war for almost a century now. These wars have transcended borders and even other dimensions. Every weapon conceivable is available and used. From black magic to AI, we've used nuclear weapons in the past and our future looks bleak to see them used again. All this has given me the realization that the real war is good versus evil. This battle led me down many roads, and before they come for me, I feel that I should speak out. The unelected global elitists that hold private meetings that they announce openly, but behind closed doors they plan and discuss how the general public, us, will live. They make plans to quell any last opposition against them. Recently they told us they wanted to talk to entities in other dimensions. There were several reports regarding these unelected leaders planning on taking psychoactive drugs such as psilocybin, MDMA, LSD, and others during these closed meetings to speak to these Lovecraftian entities. I have stated my opinions before on the separate classes. There's us, the lower class, and then the richest elite class, which is about the top 10% that control the world. And this class, in my opinion, have a moral failing. They don't think of themselves as you or I would a normal person. They think themselves as better and consider every object on this planet a factor on how they maintain their wealth and control. We now have a new player entering the class. We have many new players entering the class. And as the new money and old money are talking and planning how this world will continue for the next century, this new emerging class is truly villainous. These individuals loathe all life and they are now actively trying to call us because they consider the bottom feeders as useless eaters. Their evil plans on population numbers they want are written in stone or they waste what it once written in stone on display for everyone to see in Georgia. Um, the Georgia Guidestones have been destroyed since I've actually started writing this, which is kind of inconvenient and also synchronistic if you ask me how I was about to talk to these guys about these stones and then as I'm writing this out, you know, they get demolished. Um, either way, in case you're wondering, the acceptable number for the planet was $500 million. And uh, these stones in Georgia were supposed to be a goal or to guide humanity in um, post-apocalyptic, but that's no longer the case since it's been demolished and destroyed. There has to be a reason they keep telling us their plans. One explanation is that they have to tell us their plans. And some believes magic with a K can and is being used. This magic has rules and... Mo and also most satanic beliefs also have rituals and rules that must be followed. And yet, it is in my belief that most of these morally depraved elites are satanic followers. Parties like you would have seen in movies like Eyes Wide Shut where people are used as furniture and satanic rituals at home can be done in public's square and called an artistic venue. In these public performance pieces we see these types of rituals all the time of artists like Lady Gaga who are inspired by other satanic artists like Marina 
Abramovich, you know, portraying these rituals in her music videos. Evil has also seeped into the religion. Most religions all around the world, from Muslim jihadists to pedophile priests in the Catholic churches, most people have been moving away from mainstream religions here lately. Many non-denominational churches have been thriving and spiritually hungry. Pastors with their own interpretations on the Bible. Some grow into mega churches, gathering thousands of people, leading them down a path that may not give them the uh, spiritual living water that they thirst so much for. The battle of good versus evil for the souls of all humanity has definitely come to close to uh, my home. I personally have been having, you know, had unusual, maybe paranormal sensations more frequently lately. An example of this, I'd be at work and constantly have the feeling of being watched. And, um, or in my peripheral vision, I would see black mist, but when I directly look at to the mist, it, I couldn't see it because it, was, it would be gone. It would be, be, you know, clear. It's a normal empty room. Um, now, let me make this clear. A black mist doesn't automatically make a entity evil, or, or, or the presence itself isn't automatically evil. Likewise, I also work with equipment that is high powered and creates an electromagnetic field that could be affecting my mind and body. I do not have a complete understanding of it, but it doesn't just happen at work. It, it just happens more frequently when I'm at work. I do believe that there is an evil that has its sights on me and my family. For example, during my wife's last pregnancy, I had feelings of dread, hopelessness, depression, and an outright fear, an unshakable fear that penetrated me all the way down to my core. This fear of losing my wife, my unborn children, and even my sanity as it consumed the majority of my thoughts. It was during this time that Kevin Hart had a movie he starred in being released called Fatherhood. I have not watched this movie to this day, which hurts because I am a Kevin Hart fan, but the plot of this movie was an on-screen representation to my fears at the time. Even during my children's birth, there was complications and my wife was rushed back into surgery my heart dropped when I was told about the situation this unknown evil that targets me and tests my faith is beyond my comprehension I've also been getting sick more frequently I just got over a third bout of COVID-19 each time I get sick it's been I've had different symptoms and uh, degrees of actual illness like the first time it was just a cough that lasted like a month. The second time was more of the of fever. I lost uh, all my taste and um, especially for sweet things. And uh, this last time was pain. Severe pain throughout my entire body. All my bones, joints, and muscles felt like thousands and thousands of needles being pierced through my uh, my skin. And these needles were relentless. A, a sensation of constant pain for like five days it was definitely a torturous event that um, tried me mentally and spiritually there was this battle was for my soul I felt it almost lo- I almost lost this battle but then my uh, faith kicked in and I got angry and mentally started to fight back and spiritually it made me stronger I don't know if I am actually a targeted individual or if it's just in my head I truly believe that through that the battle for good and evil is a war that we each must fight on a personal level we must also fight it together with love and understanding evil is trying to separate us and have us in conflict with each other we need to focus on what things we have in common and not let the minute differences cause us to divide ourselves and isolate ourselves away from all our friends and family and fellow humans. 
in our communities. In my life, I have seen great unspeakable acts of evil, but I have also seen what love and compassion are capable of. And if more people lean on love and compassion, then evil will not flourish. And it will not flourish any longer. And the battle for of evil and racist good will come to an end. With good triumphing over the emerging villainous individuals that loathe anything that is good and compassionate on this planet. Anyway. I don't know, this how I feel and we'll see you guys next time after bedtime good night everyone